Welcome back guys, thank you for joining me in another little episode of our master class in here. Today we're gonna do cold power generators. Now early game you're gonna you're gonna find yourself in a pickle in there because you're gonna need a lot of power. So this is the power. Now having the mark 2 blueprint designer allows me to put a batch of four. When you're building these guys into the wild, you put four or eight. So it's just amazing. I ain't gonna make one for I don't know, two. No way. I'm gonna leave them on mark one lifts. Uh, apparently somebody's gonna have to push them forward a little. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, let's go a little forward a bit down. Um H how much forward? Let's go as first as more as much as we can basically until there okay there for sure now we got enough space uh, another blueprint designer BAG thank you very much so here we are four of them now I remember doing some in the mark 1 designer nevertheless kind of crowded in here as you can well see you can do it trust me you can do it you will not be able to place four you'll be able to place only two and you can do it but now that we have this boy guess what we're gonna make it for this guys now always always you're gonna have water and uh, coal instead of these boys uh, the way I build always is from the left to the right because it seems natural to me for some reason that way so here we are I'm gonna place these boys in. I'm gonna place the splitters in here. These splitters are gonna transport, guess what? The coal. Okay. Early game. Mark one. Anyway, this one it's only 15 coal per minute, so mark one is more than enough. Uh mark two in here because oops a daisy. Uh mark two. Because 120 H node mark one minor, you know. Uh, now, the setup for the coal is done. Let's do the setup for the water now. So, you're gonna need your crosses. You're gonna go between these guys. Because there's the way to do it. Of course. You can uh, ignore the fact that those belts are crossing through the water pipes. And it's gonna be just amazing. But I like putting these guys in here. So, mark. Mark one pipe in here. Take care that that one really connects in there. I had one instance when actually I wasn't aiming at that and it built uh, one of those in the end. I don't know how it's called. This one. And it built it straight in there. But I didn't realize it. I didn't realize it. it happened so fast when I was connecting this guys that I didn't realize it was a thing so it took something about I want to see half an hour to figure out why that guy didn't have water because he had the pipe in it it was the first playthrough that I ever done inside this factory but I still remember it okay because it was so aggravating it's okay well this is the blueprint here we are now power yeah power but let me tell you something we're gonna put the power poles in here but we're not gonna connect them i'm gonna tell you why um these boys will need to get filled up you you have to let them fill up okay if you connect this guy to the power right now as soon as he's gonna get one coal in there is gonna start producing power burning it so um, it will not be balanced okay ever because that guy will never get filled up if you put your coal going through here they will get each one with 100 coal inside and you connect them afterwards you will never ever ever have issue with the power even if at some point you have a spike 
and uh, your power grid shuts down when you're gonna start it those boys will always have a hundred inside of them and the last one is gonna be something like 80 something 90 something so it's gonna work wonders don't connect them yet put your water extractors on those uh, put the coal inside let them fill up for eight as many as you will and um, so for this one you need 1.5 water extractor for eight of them you need three extractors okay put eight of them put your free water extractors let them fill up with the water so the water extractors you're gonna connect them to the power let them fill up with water with coal and start them after that so here we are i'm gonna save this one we're gonna say here for coal gen oh i cannot write <laughs> nothing new in here nothing new nothing new believe me when i say that uh i don't have uh, yeah okay so let's add the category in here rename said category to coal genies just like that hey okay, can keep that i can add the uh, no not a category bag uh, sorry cancel remove that this one subcategory blueprint will come in here um apply changes close that select that icon call genius here we are we got the icon I'm gonna put my color because i'm a maniac like that and that's my blueprint easy busy lemon squeezy let's delete it from here uh clear designer let me show you how to place it so you're out and about in the world let's pretend that this one it's a foundation in here just for a minute okay you get your four you're gonna press control it's kind of yellow okay because some stuff it's hitting the other stuff turn it it's not yellow oh look at that they're facing the right way okay good stuff we just built in two seconds our eight coal generators what do you think about that i think it's just outstanding don't forget to connect this pole to this pole don't forget to take your mark to build connected from there to there and your pipe from here through here okay that's why i brought that pipe out now when you're gonna have your all set to go okay your input uh let me put the power in this lines just to be able to cover in here when you're gonna have your input it's gonna come in here from your miner whatever that one is hi they've been um and the water well the water it's an issue water and pipes they don't go very well in satisfactory you might have noticed that um if this stuff doesn't work properly for you because most likely you're gonna have your generators in here or on the other side i suggest pumping from both sides so you're gonna have one water generator here and two of them in this side or one in here one in the other side doesn't matter and if you have the space if you're not gonna mirror them you can pump for somewhat in the middle as well they will never shut off okay uh usually when i put these guys i know i'm gonna have 16 of them 32 of them something like that all the water extractors are on one side how this one is the entrance and this one is facing the miner in there let's say most likely in here is going to be ground what is going to be somewhere in there so my water entrance is going to be in here what am i doing in that case i'm putting uh another pipe on the exterior here so i have my free water extractors let's say in here the pumping from this side all three of them i come in here with the press of course that one it's case by case you can have one extract in there one in there one in there but um, i suggest you do something like this either you go with the pipe all the way to the other end and you connect it in there 
uh, when you're doing it on the foundation, it's gonna be aligned in properly place. But now it looks like shit. I know. Don't forget to connect them in the end. That way, you're pumping from there, in the middle, and in the end as well. Because if you're pumping only from there, with all that splashing the pipe, it is very likely like that one will never, will not never, will at some point remain without water. Okay. There are ways to mitigate that. This is one of the ways. Those ways, let's call it. The other way is to add a buffer here. Early game, you only have the little fluid buffer. Don't underestimate that guy. If you fill this pipe with your free water extractor from there, why can't I dismantle that one? Um, okay, now it works. If you fill this water pipe in here, like that, that one will have problems. But, those three are making 360 water, enough for all of these guys. If you let them fill up, how I told you, this boy, let him fill up, you will always have enough water pressure for these three guys, only because you put this fluid buffer in there and uh, they will never stop the other amazing thing that you can do it's kind of double this one in here but it's not aligning because i don't have any kind of uh, foundation underneath put another one in the middle because one uh, pipe is not enough to cover all the distance if i would have been on the foundations it's gonna be it would have been a lot easier, but like this is not. Okay. But well, let's see here you come with your free water extractors. Okay, let me delete that. You're gonna double the pipe up top. Guess what? It's gonna have enough place to pass through those. Yeah, it's gonna be a little yellow. No, it's not. Okay, so it's not even touching. It doesn't cost you anything. Some copper sheets, yes, but now guess what is happening you're pumping from two sides in here one to you one one to no 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 the one below one to one uh and let's say one to another one okay you have your free water extractors in here you can add a cross in there just to make it more beautiful or add another one down there doesn't really matter but that water pipe will go all the way in there and it's gonna pump from the other end and it's gonna save you from headaches need be and now you're pumping from the middle as well problem solved you will never ever have issues if you do it like this uh, do it however you want use your blueprints because it saves you a bunch of time and a bunch of headaches but if down the line you have headaches with the water don't be surprised okay you have been warned those are free easy methods that you can even incorporate in your blueprint if you want i will not gonna do it because i don't know exactly where i'm gonna build i don't know exactly where my extractors are gonna be and i don't know if i'm gonna do it with the fluid buffer or not I don't know if I'm gonna have 32 in a row like that or side by side or batches or four I don't know so I prefer to adapt to the terrain as much as I can if you want to do it in a blueprint be my guest we're gonna leave this one here guys thank you so much for being here for watching this if you like it don't forget to smash the like button it really helps in fighting the algorithm and if by any chance you want to support my dream of becoming a full-time content creator, you can do that by grabbing a sales and a membership. Thank you again. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.